a sunny morning in the heart of the Big Apple, Times Square in New York City. Over 39 million people visit this landmark each year, but the ones there on Thursday got to see something pretty special. October the 24th is UN Day, and United Nations staff gathered to celebrate the organization's 68th birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> and with the arrival of Guest of Honor, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, the party was complete. And everyone was invited, with the UN taking over the Nasdaq screen, the largest in Times Square, to play a new video highlighting its work around the world. Work that should be celebrated, says the Secretary General. We work for marginalized people, vulnerable people, particularly women and girls, people with disabilities. We uphold human rights and human dignity of all the people around the world. In every aspect of our life, United Nations is at front. I'm proud to serve as a second general. UN employee Helga Liefstotter, who along with other colleagues handed out information cards to passers-by, agrees with the boss. I think for all the staff here, it's extremely important to celebrate occasionally together. And in this case, to go to Times Square with the Secretary General, where we are all together and trying to remember why the United Nations were founded in the first place. And the United Nations community is all of us, especially in a city as diverse as New York, which is home to people from all 193 member states. For one man in Times Square, seeing the Secretary General was particularly special. Though now a New Yorker, James Peter Cosse is from Sierra Leone and remembers the UN helping him and his family during the conflict in his home country. I'm really happy about the United Nations. I'm from Sierra Leone. I'm, I'm in, in, in the United States now. So I'm really amazed for me to see the Secretary General inside Times Square t today. And though it was all over in a New York minute, for the UN, this was a birthday to remember. For the United Nations, this is Alexandra King.